Tonight, pressure mounting to deport the migrants accused of attacking NYPD officers in Times Square as police are searching for five more suspects tonight. And Republicans in Albany want Governor Hochul to deploy the National Guard to the Texas and Canadian borders to help stop illegal crossings. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer live now in Times Square with more on this. Marsha. Well, Christina Maurice, the attack of the cops in Times Square has turned into a political Donnybrook for both Governor Hochul and Mayor Adams, not to mention the district attorneys and the courts, since several of the attackers have been set free. It's absolutely disgusting that people who are in this country that are being housed by the taxpayers would turn around and disrespect our laws and our law enforcement. Uh, and I believe that the mayor has to work to deport these individuals. Tough talk as more details come out about the seven members of the group who have been so far arrested on charges of attacking NYPD officers as they were trying to disperse a crowd near a migrant shelter in Times Square on Saturday night. At least two of the suspects were free on the street after prior shoplifting arrests, police said. It's unconscionable that individuals are here, they're committing crimes, and that our city is protecting them from deportation. In this video released by the NYPD, two cops are seen struggling with a man in yellow when a barrage of people take turns kicking and punching a lieutenant and another officer in the head and body. Congresswoman Maliotakis claims that one reason they haven't been deported is a law enacted while Bill de Blasio was mayor that prevents the NYPD and city officials from cooperating cooperating with federal immigration officials. She says Adams should be working to overturn Bill de Blasio's law that is protecting people who are here committing crimes from deportation. A spokesperson for Mayor Adams refused to go into the legal status of those charged in the attack, saying, quote, the men and women of the NYPD put their lives on the line every single day, working tirelessly to keep us and our streets safe. Violence of any kind, and no less against our officers, is unacceptable and should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I put the question to Adam's chief of staff, Camille Joseph Farlack. I think that they should go through the criminal justice system, and if convicted, yeah, I think they should be deported. Governor Hochul was asked if she felt those responsible should be deported. I think that's absolutely something that should be looked at. If someone commits a crime against a police officer in the state of New York, um, and they're not, you know, they've not processed, they're not here legally, definitely worth checking into. Now, Governor Hochul does have the Republicans in Albany demanding that she send the New York National Guard to the Texas border and the Canadian border to stop the flow of illegal immigration. But she says they would be much better served if she, they called on their Republican congressmen in Washington to support border reform. Reporting live in Times Square, I'm Marsha Kramer, CBS 2 News.